Limitation. This is considered the lowest level of human intelligence, usually marked by an IQ below 25. People in this category have very limited ability to think, learn, remember, solve problems, or handle everyday tasks. Even simple things like sitting, walking, or eating often require constant assistance. They may also experience additional physical disabilities or long-term health problems. Still, they can respond to simple sensory stimuli like light, sound, or touch. And they're capable of showing basic emotions such as comfort, fear, or happiness, often through facial expressions. The causes are usually linked to genetic disorders, metabolic issues, or brain damage that occurred before or during birth. Very low. People in this range typically have an IQ between 40 and 54. They face serious challenges in thinking, learning, remembering, and solving problems, but they can still learn basic academic skills. They're able to speak in short, simple sentences, though their vocabulary and grammar are limited. Their understanding is mostly confined to clear, concrete instructions. Academically, their ability is similar to that of a young elementary school student. With consistent training and support, they can manage simple self-care tasks, like eating, bathing, dressing, or doing light household chores. Socially, they're often capable of basic interaction, making friends, recognizing familiar people, and expressing emotions in an understandable way. Below low. This group usually has an IQ between 55 and 69. At this level, learning new things like math, reading, or remembering information can be noticeably difficult. Their emotions also tend to fluctuate more than usual. However, they can speak fairly well, even if they sometimes struggle, to understand abstract ideas or complex instructions. Limited doesn't mean unable. With the right guidance, they can learn to read, write, and do basic math often reaching the level of an upper elementary student modern. Approaches focus on giving them inclusive education, vocational support, and life skill training. With patience, compassion, and a supportive environment, they can develop stronger emotional resilience, even if the learning process often takes extra time and effort. Low. People in this range usually have an IQ between 70 and 79. They're not considered intellectually disabled, but they often struggle with academic challenges, especially those involving abstract reasoning, complex logic, or long-term focus. In daily life, their communication skills are usually fine, but compared to others their age, they might seem slower to learn or grasp new ideas. Because of that, feelings of insecurity or low self-esteem can appear, especially when they're constantly compared to their peers. The best teaching methods for them involve repetition and gradual practice, connecting lessons to real-life examples and offering emotional support through encouragement or positive feedback. These approaches help them build confidence while developing their skills step-by-step. Step. Below average, this group usually scores between 80 and 89 on IQ tests. They don't have an intellectual disability, but their academic and cognitive abilities are generally a bit lower than the population average. They tend to learn slower, especially when it comes to theoretical lessons, calculations, or memorization. Information has to be broken down and explained in detail for them to fully understand. Complex or abstract ideas can be overwhelming, sometimes leading to frustration or low confidence. The best way to teach them is through visual and hands-on learning, showing real examples and concrete situations instead of abstract theories. Practical training like job simulations or everyday household tasks, can also help them absorb lessons more effectively. Average intelligence. This is where most people in the world fall an IQ between 90 and 109. People in this range can handle academic work, social situations, and everyday life just fine. Their ability to understand information is normal, and they can solve practical problems and adapt to life's challenges with ease. In some cases, they might need a bit more time or adjustment to fully grasp new lessons. Everyone in this group has different interests and learning styles. Some prefer theory and reading. Others enjoy working with numbers. And some learn best through hands-on practice like sports or physical activities. To reach their full potential, people in this range need to focus on sharpening their interests and turning them into real skills.
With enough effort and consistency, they can become highly capable in the areas they're most passionate about. Above Average Intelligence These are people with an IQ between 110 and 119, just a bit higher than most of the population. They're quick to grasp new ideas and usually learn faster in academic settings. Explanations that might take others a while to understand often make sense to them right away. They're also strong problem solvers. In work environments, they tend to be analytical, imaginative, and good at organizing strategies. In everyday life, they adapt easily and are often seen as the smart ones in their social circles. But everyone has different interests. Some prefer theory, others love numbers and logic, and some learn best through hands-on practice. If they keep refining their interests and working hard, they can go far and become true experts in their field. Because talent without effort eventually goes to waste. Gifted Intelligence Only about 6.7% of the world's population falls into this category, with an IQ between 120 to 129. These are the people who don't need much repetition to understand new material. They can look at a problem from multiple angles and come up with creative, structured solutions. They're naturally curious, they love asking questions, digging deeper, and rarely feel satisfied with simple answers. Their minds are full of new ideas, especially in the fields they're passionate about. In fact, many gifted individuals show clear signs of their abilities even as young children. When they focus on one area, they can become true masters of it. But, just like anything, talent comes with trade-offs. Gifted people often lean too much into analysis, they can be less sensitive to others' emotions, and they tend to struggle with backing down in an argument, even when they might actually be wrong. Genius Level These are people blessed with extraordinary intellectual abilities, only about 2% of the world's population. Their IQ typically falls between 130 to 139, placing them far above the average range. They have an intense curiosity and a natural drive to question assumptions. They grasp abstract and complex concepts quickly, and their learning style is often very different from most people. They can master academic material at a pace far beyond their peers, sometimes even outgrowing standard school curriculums entirely. But that can also create challenges. Many geniuses struggle socially, feeling disconnected or misunderstood by others their age. However, when placed in the right environment, their abilities can shine, turning their intelligence into innovation and progress. These are often the people who become scientists, inventors, and thought leaders, the minds that move the world forward. Versatile, the all-round genius. At the very top of the scale, we have those with IQs of 140 and above, the highest tier of human intelligence. These are the truly brilliant minds. They don't just master one field, they can excel in several completely different areas and become experts in each of them. In modern terms, you could call them multitaskers, but on an entirely different level. Even at a young age, they often think like adults, endlessly curious, quick to understand complex ideas, and capable of finding solutions to problems most people would find impossible. Think of Leonardo da Vinci, who mastered art, engineering, and anatomy. Or Bill Gates, who reshaped both business and technology. These people represent the peak of human intellect. But even then, IQ is still just a number. In the end, intelligence alone doesn't guarantee success.